more things here on habits. One of the things we want to definitely do as we're working, when you're in your drawing and you're close to it, it's difficult exactly to see what's going on. Nine times out of 10, if there's a problem with your drawing, a mistake in your perception, when you step back and really step back, take a big step back, you'll be able to see a lot clearer what's happening here. So get in the habit of stepping back. That's another reason we're gonna be standing while we're drawing. Standing while we're drawing encourages us to step back. And we're in the classroom and Seth or Jeff or I are saying to you all, um, okay, if you haven't taken a big step back from your picture, now's the time to do it. You're just gonna be ready because you're already gonna be standing up looking. But when you're working on your own or if you're working at home, you wanna be in the habit of doing that. Another habit you want to try to work on is taking a look at your picture in the mirror. So if you're here on campus in the studio, we have these great plexiglass mirrors that will not shatter, shatterproof mirrors. So you can get them <laughs> out of this, the locker where they're stored and we'll show you in class. You can um, hold your, the mirror up and look at your picture through, through the mirror reflection and it's gonna show you everything in reverse and that will help draw your attention to some problems. Typically it's gonna be you know, the symmetrical problems within an object that's symmetrical, it won't be quite symmetrical. Seeing the mirror reflection really helps you to figure that out. If you're by yourself or if you're at home or in your dorm, you can just take your drawing board or your picture right off the wall where you're working or if you're working on a drawing board, take it and just hold it up in your bathroom mirror, that'll work too. So there you go, a couple more positive drawing habits, good best practices for you.